Somizi will appear in court in October for spreading fake news. There is allegedly no case against him. Somizi Malongo's problems seem to be piling up as the media personality is set to appear in court over the mishap which took place last year. In April last year, Somizi found himself having to face the full might of the law when he joked about revealing lockdown information, claiming to have received intel from Fikul Mbulila. Minister Fikul Mbulila laid charges against Somizi last year for spreading fake news relating to the nationwide lockdown. Spreading false information in relation to the pandemic has been deemed a criminal offence, just before President Cyril Ramaphosa could announce that lockdown would be extended further, Somizi revealed it first and said Mbulila told him. This put Mbulila in a very awkward position as it seemed as though he went around revealing private information to other people. Hence the need to lay charges against Somizi. The media personality now has to face court in October as he is faced with charges of allegedly contravening the Disaster Management Act. According to The Citizen, his lawyer Jaya Moodley said there is no case against her client. So I decided today that we are fed up of the Director of Public Prosecutions, we are going to postpone it for trial, there is no case against Somizi, Moodley told the publication. Dainio Ranaka then got dragged into the whole mess because Somizi had told her during an IG live. Because of this, she became a state witness. A few months back, Sunday World reported that Dainio was asked a few questions relating to the incident by the National Prosecuting Authority (NPA), and in her statement she contradicted Malongo. Somgaga was only apparently joking and said he had told Dainio. However, Dainio Ranaka allegedly told investigators that Somazi never said he was joking. It was only after he was put in the firing line did he make things clear for her. A source told the publication, that is the problem because he only said he was joking later. So, Dainio couldn't lie under oath because she could be charged with perjury. She had to tell the truth. Delaying the case further is because it is believed that Somazis and Fickle's lawyers supposedly are not satisfied with it being heard at Randburg Magistrates Court. Apparently, Fickle should have opened the case where the offence took place which is at Auckland Park. Randburg Magistrates Court does not have jurisdiction to hear this case and they want it to be heard in the Johannesburg Magistrates Court. So. This might actually derail the trial or the hearing as they want to push that the matter does not belong there and it should be transferred to Joburg Magistrates Court, said a source to the publication. This is just another addition to Somers's problems. A few days ago his estranged husband Mohal Motong accused him of being abusive towards him and almost cracking his ribs. This resulted in Somazi temporarily losing out on his job with Metro FM and Idols, and also saw Bathu distancing themselves from him. 